Louisiana Beer Reviews, here we are looking at Full Sail Classic IPA India Pale Ale. Ridiculously tasty. This is from Hood River, Oregon, Full Sail. Um, Beer Advocate has this, they're treating this as a um, new entry with less than 10 ratings. Rape Beer's treating it as part, uh, as um, the original Full Sail IPA. I don't really know. I'm assuming it is the original, and they've renamed it. It's got a Best Buy date, guys, October 16, 2016. So I bought this at Trader Joe's. It, it in um, St. Petersburg, Florida. This is probably available in certain parts of Louisiana, though, because we do on occasion get full sale beers. They're not super common around here, but we get them. We see them. I was going to put it in a tulip glass, but I noticed on the on the full sale website, you hear that refrigerator running up. Got the air where it shouldn't come on. They're saying, uh, they're showing a glass similar to this Anheuser Busch tasting glass on their website. So I figured I'll, I'll use what they're showing. So I was at Trader Joe's and I was in Florida and I bought regular old beers like the natural ice in the bottle and did a video about that, wherefore natural ice in a bottle. And then Greenleaf 33 was saying you, you, you should have bought some really good beers out there. And I said I did. I wasn't just buying macro lagers. I bought this uh, Green Bench India Pale Ale. And then um, these were all the Trader Joe's. Sunshine City India Pale Ale. They have the same alcohol and IBU rating, which is strange, but I'm guessing they're using different hops. Yeah. Yep, that's it. <clears throat> this one is Cigar City. Oh, I'm sorry, Big Top Brewing of Sarasota Circus City IPA 6.8. So that looks like an interesting one to try. And I have this one from Daughters Brewery. Daughters Brewing Bimini Twist IPA 82. IBU 7%. Woo! St. Petersburg, Florida. Oh good. So it would be a thicker head if I poured it more aggressively, but a decent off-white head. Very bubbly etched bottom. Mm -hmm. Guess depending how you look at it, it's like yeah, uh, burnished gold there, but with the sun shining through onto this kind of goldenrod color, it's orange gold. Yeah, and people say, why do you paint the kitchen such strange colors? Well, goldenrod and then that grass green, like summer grass green with some darker green trim. It was kind of unusual, but. And I was going to sit outside to do this video, and I was like, oh, it's too hot, it's too humid, and I mean, it's like, really, I'll just be out there sweating more than reviewing. But they had some pretty vines growing out there and all, but... <sighs> when I reviewed the regular IPA four years ago, I gave it a most excellent score, A. It's fruity, pungent, a little, um... Yeah, it's like a classic India Pale Ale from, from the mid-90s when we started we, meaning me, started getting into this. And sweet white bread and all of that. I have this Armour Reduced Fat Vienna Sausage. 40% less fat than leading Vienna Sausage. Um, I was reticent to buy it and I kept passing it up and I said, well, if you're going to go it, if you're going to go with it, just go with it and do them all. It's bad, it's bad. J. Philip, uh, J. Danforth Armor, Philip Danforth Armor, um, 1867, started this company in Chicago. Libby's got started in uh, Chicago two years later. And they make a line of Vienna sausage as well. And <laughs> this state is currently being flooded with Vienna sausage because of the uh, horrible flood being flooded because of the flood. Um, that hits south central Louisiana. So 
they're calling, actually asking for people to donate canned meat and whatever and baby food in. Some of these companies did donate, I think it was Armor, or it was Hormel. I'm sure other ones are involved. But they donate massive amounts of potted meat. This stuff sells very well in Louisiana anyway, during hurricane season, you know, um, or just because people like to eat it. Okay. Uh, so the flavors, yeah, it seems like 60 IBUs, not too bitter. Your regular beer drinker is going to say it's so bitter, but I think if you give it a chance, you can get used to it. Sweet white bread, the medium mouth, light to medium mouth field, pretty nice lacing. A chewy finish, and honestly, the hop oils and the hop bitterness is building as I'm drinking on it. At first, it's like, nah, there's nothing here. And then as you drink on it and think on it, you can, you can feel it around your tongue. It's, it is starting to develop. It does have some interesting character. Um, reduced fat items I don't typically like. Um, but check it out. Hmm. It's not reduced salt. So what, I don't know what you're accomplishing with this. I don't know what people are accomplishing with reduced fat anything. You see that they're obviously very overweight. I, mean, I watch people, and they'll eat diet, drink diet, drink some, eat. But they, I, I say to myself, uh, it's not really what you're eating. You have a portion problem. <laughs> Watch them eat food and their portions are totally out of line, totally beyond any reason. It's like no wonder you're overweight. You eat constantly, and what you eat is an enormous amount. Well, anyway, enough rant and rave around. Two row pale, bar pale barley malt and crystal hops from what I got off the website. No score on beer advocate. Rapier is getting it 51 out of 100, 32 out of the 100 for the style. They don't like it. Um, I don't see what's wrong with this. Um, there's a lot right with it. It's not boring. It's not dull. It's not ho-hum. And I've gone on and on about these um, session IPAs. People say, you just don't like hop oil and hop bitterness. And, I said, untrue, wrong, incorrect. I like all of that. <laughs> but those are just one note. They're hoppy and they have no body, I find. The only one I really cared for was Founders Session IPA, All Day IPA. They have no body. There's, a, there's no malt under current. It's just bleh. And I've raged, and other people say, ah, I buy it. You're wrong. And how dare you say Bush Light is just as good? And I'm, I'm not trying to make controversy. I'm saying I would just go get Bush Light, a 12-pack of bottles at Walmart, instead of drinking a, a Session IPA, okay? I'm telling, I'm telling you what I would do. But this is a good classic India Pale Ale, American style, of course. It just does everything right. It's sufficiently bitter. It, it has enjoyable body. It's not too heavy. It's not too chewy. It has a crisp finish. It's probably four out of five sugar cubes. Uh, but then that's balanced by the four out of five hop cones. So it has a, a, a to me, it has a pretty bold flavor. Um, I think Full Sail does fine work. It ain't the hip thing, but uh, I like their stuff. Mm. Seems like they're compensating with low fat with extra salt. I don't know, it seems very salty. I would get the, I mean, obviously, I would get the regular standard armor Vienna sausage. But if you're into reduced fat items, it's something to check out. It doesn't taste off or bad. This seems unusually salty. 
for a food product that is quite salty. So that's it, lazy le bon ton roule. The most excellent beer and a beer in my booklet, a all the way. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans and go to the Bayou Sauvage National Wildlife Refuge. Walk on the trails and see the wildlife and the birds.